Hey everyone, I'm Tim Holtz here at scrapbook.com to share with you some really cool techniques on how to work with the new metallic distress stains with your other distress products like your ink pads and your stains. Let's get started. So when you're working with the metallic distress stains, the fact that they are semi-opaque really allow you to mix these with your distress ink pads as well as your distress stains. So let me show you some quick techniques on how to work with them. Of course, I'm gonna work on our nonstick craft sheet and these are gonna work on a variety of surfaces. We can work on craft paper or even manila or just regular cardstock. So one thing you always have to remember is you wanna shake the metallic stains every time because there is a pigment at the bottom. We need to make sure that that gets mixed up. You can kinda of hear that mixing ball. Now we can apply it directly to the surface or our craft sheet as a palette. So let me show you first just working on the craft sheet. Here I'm just gonna go ahead and press down and squeeze the bottle because I wanna get some of that stain out of there. And then I'll take another one of just the regular distress stains and just kind of go around there. And I'm trying to keep my distance around there. I don't necessarily want to swipe through it, but it's okay if you did, because one of the things that's great about the distress stains is that because they are fluid, it will only dispense the liquid, so you don't have to worry about ever contaminating the contents of the bottle. So once I have my colors down there, I'm just gonna take my paper and I can swipe right through that ink mixture. And you can see right away that it actually almost pearlizes a lot of that color pretty great and you can see that luminous effect that it starts to give as soon as those two parts kind of intermix. Now we can leave it like that. I'm just gonna grab a towel and kind of blot some of this up. Now I've got plenty of stain down there so I can go in even with another piece of paper and I can swipe through there. Now here's one of the things that's great about working with these is just getting them wet. You can see how these will react just like the other Distress does. It gives you that really great kind of blend of color. I'm gonna go in and dry these, but before I do, let me get rid of some of that stain just so I have a clear area just to show you. All right, so once I do that, I'm just gonna go in and start drying this using a heat tool. Now, you don't have to use a heat tool to dry this. You can certainly go in and let this air dry, but you'll see right away when that dries the effect that this gives. You really start to notice that metallic. You may not see it at first when everything's wet, but you'll see right away as this dries that great sheen that you're starting to get. It's pretty cool. And like I said, this is semi-opaque, so it doesn't cover it up the way uh, metallic paint would. That's the beauty of the Distress metallic stains. So we're just drying that. And this heat tool, of course, allows you to get really close to your surface, so you don't have to really worry about uh, burning any of that. So there's our finish so far. You can see really how nice and Luminous. And of course, everything is staying right there. But this is still, of course, our distress background. So we can do other things. Now I can go in, if I want to add some color, maybe I can go with my ink pads now. And here I'll take an ink blending tool, just kind of pick up some of that color, and I can just start blending. So I can kind of fill in that spot there. If I want to add some color here, I can add it just in my circular motion, just adding some color. And I like to work with other colors too. Now, one thing I do want to point out real quick, if you use a blending tool, Sometimes you might transfer a little bit of that metallic on the surface of your ink pad. One, you don't have to worry about ruining your ink pads this way, but if this is going to bother you, then my suggestion would be to take your ink first and maybe swipe it out on your craft sheet. Use that as your palette when you pick up ink with your blending tool. This way you're only working right from your craft sheet and you'll never worry about transferring metallic right onto the surface, but that's completely up to you. Next, I'm gonna go in just with another color. You can see I like to work with the same blending tool. I never really care about that. I love just getting that kind of new creative color. And I've just incorporated a couple of other shades onto my background. And same thing, I can go in, just gonna spray a little bit of water, drip some of that on there, wait just a minute, because you'll see that that starts to react a little bit. And then I can pick some of that up with my towel and dry it again. So this really allows for a great kind of mixed media background, whether I'm going on to tags or even on canvas if you wanted to incorporate some metallic. So that's a really quick way to use it kind of on your craft sheet as a palette. Let me show you another way. Clean this up. Easy use of the craft sheet. So another way that I might wanna do is just take something like even craft paper, and maybe I just wanna go in and just give it a shine. So I'm just gonna shake that stain and just show you real quick just the effects that you get. So here's gonna be a little bit of brush pewter just kind of going on. Then this next one, just gonna shake that up, show you a little bit of antique bronze, really great kind of a vintage copper bronze color. 
And then of course we have tarnished brass. Now these are, are all metallic of course, but they have that vintage kind of distressed look and you can just see the difference. I just want to share with you just the difference in the finishes on that. And I'll go in and just dry this piece of paper. I never worry about my paper curling. It doesn't matter, it's paper. It will always end up flat. Now you can see right away on here that shine or that luminous finish that I was talking about when you're working with these. But remember, this is distressed, so it's always going to be water-based. So if you want to blend some of that out, Really, you can just spritz that with water and even your metallics will blend together. So it's nice that like in the last one when we were incorporating metallics with other colors, that's cool. But maybe you want to mix your metallics. So just keep that in mind that you can always mix these two because they will always blend together once they get wet. So let me just dry that again just to show you that when you wet them, you'll actually get that blend on there as well. There's so many different things that you can do now that we've incorporated a little bit of metallic, of course in with our background. Okay, one more thing I wanna show you, of course, is working on paper. Scrapbook paper, this happens to be a little bit of craft resist. So what I'm gonna do is just share with you, just putting some distress stain right over there. Love that whole pre-resisted paper. The fact that that flourish is going to be repelled by the water base, but sometimes maybe I wanna go in and just add another quick overlay to that just to get a little metallic blend on there. That's what I was saying about the stains that make them so cool. And you could do this all over the entire piece of paper if you want. Just gonna spritz a little bit of water on there and let's dry it. That's gonna blend. Now you're gonna see that that metallic is always going to rise to the surface no matter what, because our metallic is going to be our pigment. But you're still gonna see some of that first color, that little bit of broken china kind of come through. And you'll see that effect that we get really cool luminous look really nice so those are some of the great features working with the metallic distress stains I think they're going to open up a lot of possibilities not only for incorporating your other distress products but even for holiday themed projects to give a little bit of nostalgic metallic shimmer to it enjoy